It's a race to code Flappy Bird in Unity Engine, and the winner gets nothing. Bragging rights? Maybe. It's a speedrun, so we are competing for honor and valor. But how did this all start? Howdy-do, Otteroo. Uh, I need a video idea. We could make a collab. Ooh, uh, but it need to be something short and speedy, like a, a small rodent. <laughs> We could speedrun making a Flappy Bird game. We can compete. Yeah, and whoever does it first with score UI and bird with pipe wins. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a good Yeah. Yeah, Flappy Bird. That's no, Flappy Burb. We don't want to get sued. Oh, yeah, Flappy Burb. Flappy Burb. Flappy Burb. Burb. Does she just love Flappy Bird? I mean, Flappy Burb. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye bye. There were rules, but rules schmools. Flappy Bird is a complex and daunting game, so I made a comprehensive list of every mechanic or gizmo that was contained inside of Flappy Bird. Ignore the meatballs, I haven't played Flappy Bird for a while. Timer time, to time time. On to the first challenge of the challenge, art. Art. art can take years to finally perfect, but luckily for me, I'm an expert at making cringy art. Bird, pipes, sky, cloud, grass, meatballs? I slapped them into Unity and we got a pretty ugly scene, but a scene nonetheless. By the way, the game dev I'm competing with, Otters, actually drew his art after getting a prototype working. Which is generally good practice, but it just highlights the freedom of game dev. Anyway, that wasn't as challenging as I had expected, but it was nothing compared to what we have to do later in this video. Speaking of this video, this video is sponsored by Cola Coca. Too much Cola Coca causes heart disease, but the right amount of Cola Coca makes your brain more productive. Use the promo code Cola Coca on colacoca.com for cola percent off your next Coca can. Now, time was ticking, as time does, and all I had was art. I needed sound, but apparently, stealing sound from the internet is cheating! Who wrote these rules? So I got down on my hands and knees and jiggled my windpipe for a bit. Wah, 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 wah. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Oof! 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 Hooray! And for the music, I used Chrome Music Lab to mix up some funky beat. Check out my tutorial for making music if you hadn't already. There's an info card somewhere on the screen. Well, that was difficult, but we haven't even gotten to the coding yet. Let's get to the coding. This, this is the fun, fun part for the pipes. In Unity, you can make objects children or parents of other objects. And if you move, scale, or rotate a parent object, then all its children will transform with it. So by using a unique family of pipes, we can make it so the whole pipe moves left, right, up, and down together. But then we can just move the child, which is the top pipe, up and down to change the difficulty of the pipe. Also, instead of moving the bird, camera, and background, we can just move the pipes for simplicity. By the way, I did the pipes by spawning a new one each time the player is ready for another pipe. But Otters did an interesting thing where the pipe gets reused. Of course, there's benefits to both strategies. For example, my strategy causes a lot of lag if you run it for too long, but I'm just pointing out the freedom to coding. Isn't it neat? Oh yeah, you don't care. Well, one more cool coding thing, and then we're back to the race. For the bird's rotation, in Unity, you have a thing called vectors, which are basically points on a coordinate plane. We can also set the 2D rotation of an object to face the vector. So if we add the bird's vertical movement to a point that's far to the right of the bird, the bird will face somewhere in between for a fancy bird effect. But even though the game was technically working, it was not working well enough to be called a game. It was not fun. And if there's one thing we know about Flappy Bird, it's that it's the funniest, goofiest game in the weird wide world. So the next challenging challenge was to make it more funner. Firstly off, I tweaked the settings for optimal funness. But tweaking takes time and I definitely playtested for far too long. Anyway, another fun thing I did was make the sound get slowly faster and higher pitched as the game progressed and got harder. Definitely not annoying at all to the player. And the final thing we had to do was add post-processing. Uh, never mind. And I uploaded the game to itch.io with a questionable title. It was meant to be a spoonerism, but I forgot that bird starts with a B and not a P. Another thing I forgot was the meatballs, but that's probably for the best. If this video gets 200 likes, I will update the game to include meatballs. If you like silly games, then you should check out this video on the info card. Anyway, my final time was 2 hours and 6 minutes, so that's pretty neat. Make sure to watch Otter's video also, it should be linked in the description. Watch it, or I will smite you. And subscribe to both of us. PLZ, colon, winky face.
Squeeze. 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 Squee